Angel Reese versus Caitlin Clark. Now listen, I didn't know y'all wanted the video that bad. Y'all got me 500 likes in like, what, two hours? Dang, y'all went crazy. But listen, let's get straight into it, you feel me? Now, we saw what Caitlin did to Carrington last night, right? And Carrington is a great defender. Let's just clear the air. But I want y'all to look at what Caitlin did to Mabry. Like, it's funny, she played Mabry last night against the Sun. But this was when Mabry was on the Chicago Sky. So let's look at this right here, look. Great screen by Melissa, held it for a little bit. Uh, step back, cross, step back. Uh, disgusting. <laughs> now look though, bro. They gonna have Kennedy Carter or Lindsey Allen on her now. And maybe is a better defender than both of them in my opinion. And regardless, neither of them is gonna be able to contain Kaylin or Kelsey. You feel me? So they're gonna be eating tomorrow. Now look, let's get straight into this next clip, right? If I'm Christy Siles, what am I doing? I'm starting Temi immediately. But listen, I'm starting Temi to contain Angel Reese. I'm not starting Temi for, you know what I'm saying, for three-point shooting. I'm just starting Temi to contain Angel Reese, wear her out. And, you know, Angel Reese plays off confidence. So if you mess up her confidence, it's going to go a long way during the game. She's not letting Angel Reese bully her like Angel Reese bullied Nalissa right here. Look at this. Damn, I got sand in my eye. Like, look, she just bullied Nalissa right there like... No way the injuries that I be seeing going for the putback layers, missing her own layers, is bullying Alyssa like this. Boom. Like, dang, I got something in my eye. Like, that's just disappointing to me. I'm not going to lie. And listen, I'm going to be honest, bro. She literally bullied her. Like, boom, up on her chest. It wasn't like a rainbow layup. It was a straight bullying right here. Now, listen, I, another clip. Angel was straight up bullying Alyssa Smith, like right here. Look at her. She calling for it, takes it straight to the list of bodies her twice, and talks to, man, she talking her shit to her. Look at her. Oh, my goodness, bro. Oh, my, listen. If Christy Size uses even half of her common sense, just even half of it. If she uses, if she uses even half of it, she's going to start Temmie tomorrow. Because Temmie ain't going for that. I'm going to be honest. Temmy is not going for that. You feel me? Now, listen, I'm going to be honest right here. This was good defense but, um, from Kaylin Clark Defender. But listen, bro, you know what I'm saying? Kaylin is just this good. Look at what Kaylin did. She caught it. Deep range three shot it right at her defender face. Look at her defender. Her defender is stuck right now. This, is, ladies and gentlemen, is the C22 effect. <laughs> like, I'm going to just be honest, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie. She left the defender stunned. Like, just by hitting that shot. No dribbles from deep. Like, even Alyssa was about to set her screen. But Caitlyn's shot is just butter. Anyways, once again, Alyssa Smith with no answer for Angel Reese, bro. Just getting bullied. And Aaliyah. Like, I'm not even going to say Aaliyah can't even help because she's with Camilla. Look at it. Like, look, Aaliyah battling with Camilla. Angel bullying Alyssa. And she gonna foul her. Like, you gotta be in position. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it, 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 she can't help you all the time. And I keep pointing out that when Kaylin calls for a screen and she actually wants a screen, like, like she actually wants a screen, not just a fake screen, a real screen, not a screen protector, a screen. You know what I'm saying? Not just a body. Look what happens. That is a fake screen right there. And Alyssa, if you don't hold that screen like Kaylin wants you to, it's not gonna work. When Kaylin calls for it, she wants a strong screen, but she doesn't get it. And then what happens? Kaylin has to force a tough shot up. Like, I need y'all to see the, the unsuccessful rate that happens when they like when they don't hold that screen. There, you know what I'm saying? Alyssa and Aaliyah have to understand this. Like, they got to understand this. Guards love getting the switch because now the defensive rhythm is thrown off due to the mismatches. Everyone is second-guessing if they should help or stay home. Now the defense is, like, on panic mode. You know what I'm saying? All because you held one screen. Like, the power of that, the fundamentals of that little thing gets overlooked too frequently on the fever. You know what I'm saying? But look at though. Look what happens when a screen is actually set, though. Look, Nalissa, strong screen right there. Now she has to run around the screen. What Kaylin does, runs her off the floor. Now she's passing it this way. Her, she's already off her, her, her rhythm, and now she's running this way, right? So now that she's running this way, Nalissa, uh, she's thinking that Kaylin's passing it this way. But no, the ball is going to Nalissa. By the time she realizes she's off the her pivot, loses her balance, and falls down. You know what I'm trying to say? This is what I like. This is what I'm trying to see more often. You know what I'm saying? Like, real, like honestly, bro. Anyways, let's move on. Kaylin's defensive abilities isn't talked about enough. And it's probably because she's similar to Devin Booker. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Phoenix Suns fan. She's similar to Devin Booker being so talented offensively, it outshines her amazing defense. Look at her. She reads the inside passes too well. Look at her. C22, good steal. You know what I'm saying? And look at the pass. Look at the pass. Oh, my. Oh, my, man. 
<laughs> if that pass was caught and finished, this would have been an all-time highlight. I'm going to be honest, it would have been top 10. That's this man, that's disgusting. Anyway, look at Kaylin waiting for Aaliyah to get down the floor for this open layup. Look at this. She stops, waits for Aaliyah, boom. Great lay. Great lay. Now listen, though. Listen, this could have been another hockey assist to Kelsey like we spoke about in the last video. I'm going to rewind it real quick for y'all so y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all remember the last video we, we, we brung up the hockey assist, right? Look at this right here. Inside pass to Aaliyah. That makes bodies collapse. Who's open? Kelsey Mitchell on the corner. You never want to leave Kelsey Mitchell open. And this is something you bring up in the film room. You know what I'm trying to say? Now listen. That's a good layup. That's a good layup. You know what I'm trying to say? Like we, we spoke about that in the last video. But I want y'all to look at Angel again. Look at Angel Reese. She's literally, I don't know if y'all was in my Angel Reese have to make more layups kind of uh, video, but Angel Reese is like a cat with no whiskers. I'm going to be honest. Look at how she just runs into everybody on the floor. Look at this. Angel is right here, okay? Look at her running to Christy Wallace. I think that's Christy Wallace. Look at her. Boom. Just bumps her. Like, she doesn't even, and that's not on purpose. That's not on purpose. <laughs> that is not on purpose. I promise y'all, that's not on purpose. Like, Angel Reese is just like, she don't know, like, I, like, she would run over her own teammate sometimes. I, I, I done covered that. She ran over her own teammate because her foot placement to eye coordination is not in sync. Like, I feel like when Angel was in her, develop, de, de, how you say that word, developmental stages of her, uh, her career, she was smaller. And by the time she became big, she'd already, you know what I'm saying, she's she know what she know. And she never sharpened those same skills at her growth spurt. I don't know her, though. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong. That's just my guess. But Angel Reese is too sloppy when it comes to, like, hand, uh, feet eye coordination. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's move on from that. Listen, another play where it shows how much Caitlyn has improved her teammates from then to now. Pushing the pace, wide open pass to Kelsey. How many times did we? How many clips did Adam pulled up where Kelsey fumbled the ball? And it's say in this same exact spot too. It always felt like it's that same exact spot on the right side of the court, right? Like. Listen, man, Kelsey couldn't catch any of these passes back then, and now she's catching them with ease. You want to play with Caitlyn, then prepare to rewire your brain and take it to another level because she will find you. And sometimes it's before you even know you're open. But listen, yeah, man, like I said, if Temi isn't on Angel Reese tomorrow, I might just lose it. I'm going to be honest. If Temi isn't guarding her, look at this. Angel Reese, inside, wants an Alyssa Smith, takes the body, post spin, layup, light work. Nalissa is just a cone. Christy size timeout. You know it's bad when Christy got to call a timeout on you. Because Christy do not make no adjustments anyway. But listen, man. Like I said, I need to tell me on um, uh, Angel Reese. Unless Nalissa comes out tomorrow and plays gritty. Because y'all know when I criticize somebody, they want to come out the next game and do everything different. I guess people are in tune with Venom. You feel me? But listen, unless Nalissa comes out and play gritty like she did last night, I'd still rather have Temi out there, to be honest. That's just me. Anyways, let's move on. With this team, it's more of a fundamental they have to get right if they want to contend. Like, they just got to sharpen their fundamentals. I shouldn't have to be rambling on and on about centers holding the screen to free up the guards. Like, look. Aaliyah finds Kaylin, and what she does, she holds the screen, right? Now, look at how open Kaylin gets because Aaliyah holds the screen. Pay attention to Aaliyah and how open Kaylin gets. Boom, holds it. Even just for a split second is enough for Kaylin to shoot because she knows the only way she's going to get to this shot is if she fouled me. The Aaliyah's right there sat in the screen. Like, Kaylin builds like a wall right next to her, so it's enough room to shoot. And if the defender has to stop the shot, you're going to have to foul me. But listen, notice how probably 90% of the time they, they hold the screen, something good happens, and Kaylin gets free every time. I need y'all to notice that. But listen, man. So before we get into this clip, we all could agree that Kaylin is the best shooter this game has ever seen, right? Right? Okay. Now listen, with that being said, now let me show y'all something about Kaylin having the biggest green light to shoot an open three, but she still does this. Look at her. Gives up a good shot for a great shot. This is what I'm talking about. And I'm going to be honest, the sad truth, if Kelsey was in this situation, she would never pass to Kaylin in the corner. That's just the truth, though. Kelsey's a score first, pass later. You know what I'm trying to say? But listen, bro, I had to throw this clip in there. Angel Reese might be the funniest player I ever watched. Like, I don't think she even cares enough to be better sometimes. Like, just look at this clip, man. I need y'all to look at this clip. Lob, Ali, hey. <laughs> I can't, bro. <laughs> Yo, Angel Reese, what, like, what am I looking at right now? Like, like, what is that? There's no way you caught a lob. Gas me up thinking you about to make a smooth back, you know what I'm saying, layup off the backboard, and you miss everything. You miss the whole rim. 
<laughs> oh my god, Camilla, Mr. Lee, man. That was just a slight play. I had to throw that in. That was laughing, bro. That like that was amazing. But listen, though, let's move on. This two-girl action with Kaylin and Aaliyah proves once again how dangerous they could be when it comes down to needing that bucket to keep the momentum flowing. Look at this right here. Pass to Aaliyah. Aaliyah tries to look. Nothing there. Let's reset Kaylin one more time. Ah, oh, wide open mid-range. Let's go. This is what I'm talking about, and this is what I like. This is what I'm talking about, and this is what I like, okay? And listen, again, when Aaliyah holds the screen, the goals is free. I like, when Aaliyah holds the screen, the goals is free. I like that right there. But listen, man, I'm going to say it again. When Aaliyah holds the screen, the goals is free. Aaliyah, hold the screen. Come here. Hold the screen. Great screen. She held it. Free goal. Free layup. Boom. Come on now, man. That's what I like. It's free goals every time she holds the screen. But listen, though, if they do the right things and the fourth quarter comes with Kaylin filling in a good flow, she's going to put the biggest dagger in the Chicago team in C22 fashion. Look out. Top of the fourth quarter. C22 off the pin down. C22. Boom! That's C22 right there. You feel me? I love it. And listen, keep in mind, Kaylin does a great job on reading passes to the inside. Uh oh, look at Alyssa though. Look at Alyssa. Man, no, like I don't know how many times I have to bring this up. Alyssa holds that screen that frees up Caitlyn, and guess what happens, bro? Of another wide open three, another wide open three. Look at this. Another wide open three. Like you can't make this up. Just hold the screen. Just hold the screen. <laughs> you feel me? Like just hold it. Come on now. What we got here? Is this the same clip? Yeah, yeah, the same clip. You know what I'm trying to say? But just hold the screen, bro. That's all I'm trying to say. Let's move on, though. Let's move on. Anyways, is this the play where Kaylin reads the pass on the inside? No, this is Angel Reese bullying her again, man. Listen, Nalissa, this is 84-84. Like, Nalissa Smith not being able to guard Angel literally cost them the game. Look at this. Laid her. Like, you're a baby to her. Like, she made, I ain't gonna lie, she made Angel look like a seasoned veteran with all those post moves in her back. I want Temi guarding Angel next game. She was hitting uh, Nalissa Smith with the, ah, 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 come here, come here. Like, it's too easy, you know what I'm trying to say? But listen, man, y'all let me know if y'all if y'all agree. I want Temi starting in on Angel Reese immediately. And yeah, yeah, I added a little crick to my brim because y'all coming at my brim last video. But listen, man, y'all see the sub goal. Y'all make sure y'all smash that sub, boy. Smash that like, mama. See y'all in the next video reaction. It's your boy, Venom. See y'all immediately after the Fever play the Chicago Sky. Not a day after. Y'all know what's up. Y'all yeah, yeah, know what's up. I'm going to see y'all in the next reaction. It's your boy, Venom. Let's go!